from the trading desk of Daily Forex, this is Christopher Lewis looking at the uh, February 2nd session. In front of you, I have the S&P 500. You can see pretty volatile in New York today. We used uh, 1920 as support and turned back around to crack above 1940. But in the end, we ended up pretty much unchanged. It is a bit of a hammer. It does show signs of resiliency, but we have to pay attention to 1950. It's not until we break above there that I feel we are free to go higher. And at that point, we'll try to tackle 2000. Pullbacks could be buying opportunities on signs of support. And uh, I have no interest in selling, at least until we get below the Friday uh, bullish impulsive candle. Looking at the NASDAQ 100, you can see it was a little bit more positive. It wasn't quite so unchanged. It was slightly positive. 42.50 offers a floor. I still think we need to get above 43.50 in order to start buying. Uh, at that point in time, we should make a run for 4,500. Now, the NAS tends to lead the other U.S. markets uh, quite a bit. So uh, I think if we break out here, then the S&P 500 will follow. No interest in selling. There's been a, just a brick wall of support down at 4,100.